Okay, triangle ABC is shown in the figure below. The measurement of A is 40 degrees, AB equals 18 centimeters, and AC equals 12 centimeters. Which of the following in length is the length in centimeters of BC? Okay, so we're looking for this one here. Right, uh, now they give us a bit more information. Uh, they give you a note, they're very kind of them. Uh, for a triangle with the sides lengths of A, B, and C, opposite angles, a, angle A, angle B, and angle C, respectively, the law of sines states sine of A equals A over, uh, over A equals sine of B over B equals sine of C over C. And the law of cosines states that C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. Okay, well now the key for doing this one is We've got to figure out which bit of information we need or that we can use. Um, in order to use this information here, we're going to need more than one um, angle. We're only given one angle, so it's not going to really help us to find this length here. Well, let's look at this cosine, uh, the law of cosines here then. We've given, uh, we're given two lengths, either A, B, or C, we're not sure yet, and we're given one angle, which is what we'll need here. So this is the formula we're going to use then. Okay, so the next step is figuring out what, what's going to be sides A, B, and C. They've already labeled some A, B, and C, but that's not going to help us here necessarily. Well, we're given a cosine of C, so we're going to need this angle here, because we're, we're going to need this, this is going to have to be now C. In order to use this formula, this is going to be, since this is the angle choice that we're given, the only information we're given, this is going to have to be angle C. Which means that this line here is going to be the small c. So then let's rename this, well, these two. This can be A, and this can be B. So this will be a, this 12, and this will be B. Now, it, this bit doesn't really matter which way you do it because in the formula itself, it doesn't matter A squared plus B squared. They're kind of interchangeable, minus this 2AB. It's also interchangeable. So it doesn't matter which one you do. Okay, so we're solving for C squared. We want to find this. Well, it's pretty handy. We've got ourselves now all the information we need. We just need to plug it in. So, uh, where shall I write it? I'll write it up here, closer to it. So, I've got c squared equals a squared. So, we've got a, I'm going to put 12 squared. I'm not going to multiply it out. Um, plus b squared. So, we've got b here, plus b squared, 18 squared, minus 2ab. So, I've got 2 times A, we've got again, which is 12, times B, which is 18, cosine of 40, angle C. Okay, almost there. Last thing now, we've got C squared, but we don't want that. We want this, which is just C. So in order to get rid of the, the um, square, we're going to have to square root it, take the square root of it which will be C. And I'm not going to write this whole thing out. I'm just going to take the whole square root of this whole thing. Sorry to write over that, which is answer choice E.